before attempting to service or install the CL60 grid tie PV inverters from Schneider Electric. Wear personal protective equipment rated adequately for all potential hazards on site, following local, regional, and industry safety regulations. Ensure your upstream AC and DC breakers and disconnects are turned off and locked out and tagged out using LOTO procedure. Turn the DC connect to the off position and on the CL60A, perform LOTO. On the CL60A only, turn the AC disconnect to the off position and perform LOTO. Disconnect the PV string cables incoming to the inverters by disengaging all your MC4 or H4 connectors using the provided PV connector removal tool or manufacturer's recommended tool. Once all power sources are disconnected from the CL60, wait 10 minutes before removing covers. Measure for the absence of voltage using the appropriate PPE equipment and minimally rated 1000 volts DC, 400 volts AC meter. In this video, we will explain how to commission the CL60A and CL60E. The following tools will be required to perform CL60 commissioning, PPE, a Phillips number two screwdriver, a T30 driver, and a torque driver. Step one, check and confirm adequate clearance around the CL60. There needs to be 600 millimeters or 24 inches of clearance all around the CL60. Between CL60s, there needs to be 800 millimeters or 32 inches of clearance between units. Step two, perform a visual inspection. Ensure the PV inverter is accessible for operation, maintenance, and service. Confirm that the inverter is stable and secure on the wall or metal framing. Check that ventilation is not impeded in any way. Check and remove any objects such as tools or extra screws in or around the PV inverter. Check that the PV string cable connections and cable glands are attached and sealed securely. Check the AC conductors, both on the input and the output, are tightened properly and secure. Step 3. Add the cover to the CL60 and tighten the 6 T30 screws to 4.3 newton meter or 3.2 pound-foot torque. Step 4. Add plugs to PV connectors if they're not being used. Step 5. Confirm that the correct size and type of AC breaker is installed downstream. Schneider Electric recommends 120 amp or higher, three or four pole circuit breaker depending on AC wiring type and local electrical codes. Step six, remove the mounting handles if they are still installed. Step seven, confirm that the labels are not peeling or coming off. Step eight, turn on upstream and downstream protection devices to the CL60 following LOTO, site, and jurisdictional safety procedures. Step 8B, CL60A only. To enable the AC power, remove your lockout tagout padlock. Then the white locking tab must be pushed in all the way with a positive click. Afterwards, turn the lock into the on position to energize the AC side of the inverter. Step 9A, CL60A only. To power on the CL60A, you need to turn the DC disconnect from the off into the on position. To do this, remove your lockout tagout padlock. Then, simply click into the on position and you will see the unit turn on. Step 9B, CL60E only. To power on the CL60E, you need to turn the DC disconnect from the off into the on position. And afterwards, you will see the unit turn on. Step 10, configure the CL60 settings by first scrolling through the countries and selecting your correct country or grid code. Tap to scroll and hold the OK button for more than two seconds to confirm. If you are a qualified installer, hold the OK button to clear the warning screen. Select single or multi-stage protection and confirm your selection. 
review the default voltage and frequency protection settings and adjust if necessary. Confirm to move on. Then the default voltage and frequency protection settings and adjust if necessary. And again, confirm to move on. Tap the Escape and OK buttons to adjust and scroll through the time and date menu. Confirm once set up. Use the Escape and OK buttons to adjust and scroll through the Modbus. Confirm once the correct Modbus parameters are entered. Final step. Review all the settings on the CL60 display and if correct, confirm by pressing OK. And if a setting needs adjustment, hold Escape to go back through the menu. Then, once the configuration is confirmed, to complete commissioning, wait until the unit is in run mode and confirm the CL60 is producing power. Thank you.